Hello and welcome to Two Indoor Gaming, and we are back with Life in the Village. And I successfully got my die right. Oh, don't be silly, Mr. Door. And we now have an upgraded Builder's Heart. Da 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 da! And it's now multi level. Check this out. Down here. Oh. So a little more storage now. So that's good. That's helpful. And all sorts of interest. Look at that. White wool. There's that diorite that. Oh, I finally got it. And I, when I finally found it in this huge pile uh, sticking out of the ground, I collected heaps. Made sure I got heaps. I'll show you how far it took. Oh, don't do this to me. Where's my map? What's going wrong with it? Is it updated or something? Where are we? Follow. Ah, I don't know what it's doing. Yeah, there we are. Okay, so it's just all weird. So I went all the way. What I did is I jumped to uh, the village that had the waypoint, and then I just went south. I went south, and I went south, and I went south some more, and there's a glitch, but I went south some more, and I looked for an ocean that I could sail on, and I finally found one, and I went south some more, and finally here, here was some savannah, but it was still hard finding diorite, and I don't know if that's because it was savannah M, but I did find some just uh, here, this was just a big pile of diorite sticking out of the ground. And then I explored a little more, and sure enough, there was a sandy desert and more stuff over here. And um, this this was uh, the Indian villages. So yeah, that was cool. I checked out that new culture all the way down there. Would have been nice to find a village, a regular village, so I could get a waste spot. But uh, yeah, and I was just over it by that stage. So I came back home and gave. Uh, Gave my builder her materials and she built a home for me. So, yay! And so it's just done. It's done at last. At last. Uh, what is she after now? Uh, all sorts of stuff. I might need some resources for that building. Okay, you might indeed. What have I got? Uh, dirt. I'm gonna need gravel. Nope. Eh. Uh, I'll have to get some of that, but I thought you'd show some of the other things that I found on my journeys. Uh, and that is a Norman helmet. Ooh, which is fancy and it's a little, it's, it's definitely better than a regular uh, iron helmet. I found a buried treasure map. And that was in that desert area. I found the, the old desert temple and I managed to pull that out of the bottom of the shaft without exploding everything. And so I've got a buried treasure map. Yeah, I made sure to get acacia wood and saplings and cactus while I was there because I don't know when I'll be down there again. So that was the journey. And um, as Avalary D said, I mean, it's life in the village. You shouldn't expect to be a traveler. Having to roam thousands of meters, it was like 7,000 meters away, something ridiculous, uh, before I finally found what I needed. Whew. And it was quite the journey. Um, what I decided I'm going to do, because I keep getting complaints from what's his name? He doesn't have a job, he doesn't have a house, he doesn't have any skills either. I thought rather than building another house now, I might update this one. Or, but I'm not sure if, as soon as you get too many citizens, you trigger the, um, the raids, apparently. Not that I've ever experienced one. I think in the other times I've played, it must have glitched out. I never actually got any of the raiding happening, so it'll be an experience for me and you when I get to that point. Um, yeah, that'll be interesting. So we've got this lovely recessed house, another one of those, ugh. Builds. I've got to double check every time you place one of these things just make sure there's no stairs or whatever because it looks like oh yeah it's on the floor it's fine but then it's actually recessed because it's a step up we get our fisherman doing his job fishing hard job what's he got for us ooh look at all these fancy fish and regular fish so there's a feast in the often seafood uh, extravaganza coming up uh, yeah, so there's work happening and things are going on. I might, um, jump ahead till there's something interesting to show you. 
Okay, so uh, Ella's finished building the Lumberjack 2. So I better give her another job soon. And this is what I'm going to give her, the barracks in front of me. But I wanted to show you, this is what's happening with Connor. He's getting very upset. Very upset. Because he wants a house and he wants a job. He demands to have a job. Well, get some skills first, mate. Okay, so this is the barracks. I thought over here would be a nice spot. But oh, what are you doing? Ranger zombie. Yeah, okay. Now, back to what I was saying. So I was thinking this would be a good spot, but I'm th I, I sort of want it higher. I, I, I want it to command a presence. You know, that idea of a barracks overlooking uh, the settlement. So I think what I will do is I will lift it and I'll fill under it. <clears throat> yeah. And uh, Ella can get to work doing her stuff. And I'll, I'll put some dirt under it or whatever. Because then... Yeah, I just want to give it a, just a little bit more commanding presence. Now, of course, once I put the barracks in, I'm going to have to put in an actual uh, barracks tower in it. Uh, otherwise, nobody moves in, which is interesting. But, yeah, I'll, I can show you that when we get to that point. Uh, but over there, you can see the lumberjack is... Um, hey, well, let's have a closer look. Uh, no, actually, I should start this building first, shouldn't I? Before I run over there, and then I just have to run back. That would make sense, wouldn't it? So, I decided on Medieval Dark Oak. Obviously, it's not going to look that at level 1. Level 1 is going to be a lot less impressive. Uh, but at level 5, check it out. What? That's awesome. Yeah, I checked out the other options. I even looked at Birch because of my Lumberjacks collect a lot of Birch. But it just doesn't... Yeah, it's too lame. We want commanding. Uh, so, that's, that's what I'm going for. It's not a Smurf village, after all. Is this warriors are gonna be here, mate? So I better get it started. Take off the wand. So I actually remembered this time. Wow! Built, built. All right. Should we ask him stuff straight away a bit? Okay. So let's go look at the lumberjack. Now, oh, one thing I do want to say, you know, after upgrading the builder's hut, I was hoping uh, I might have a little more size for recipes you know how we we're having the trouble with the f only with the 2x2 two two block and I was hoping for a 3x3 three three. nah nah still hasn't done it come in here teach recipe still the same little bleh so that's really unhelpful I'm gonna have to make all of the stairs and all of that stuff still Ella can't do it herself even though she's got all the I think she's got two crafting tables now Oh, check this out. This is definitely better than before. It's going to pull log happening there. Ooh, nice. So, yeah, you'll see we mostly got birch in here. I think I might take it off the list because I'm not going to use as much of it. So, let's do that right now. Ah, la, la, da, da. How do we do that again? This one, isn't it? Yeah. So, let's turn off birch. Yeah, don't do any of them ones. Uh, is, is it going to still... <laughs> List of recipes. Yeah, there's no recipes. Um, I don't know if that means she won't harvest them or just won't replant them. Hmm. I don't even know where she's gone. But the thing is, she should be able to use better better items now. I might try and give her an iron axe and see if it gets some use. Oop, I forgot it's only two. So let's put that in the inventory and we will s Oh, I already gave him one. Oh, okay. Fine. We'll have a second. Yeah. Try and use that, eh? I'll recall her and see what happens. Inventory. Let's take that off. Yeah, you can't have it. Uh -huh. What are you going to do? Punch the tree? Not very effective. Come back over here. What's she going to do? Is she going to get the iron axe or what? Because I know when you level them up, they have access to better things. Like they can wield. Yes! Right. Good. Go, you good thing. Excellent. Okay, good. She's got the iron axe. She can chop some trees with fury. That means... Uh, Ella as well. If when she needs more tools, I can give her iron tools. Nice. What is she asking for? 
She wants an axe. Well, I'll make you one too, eh? Yeah. What do you say about that? Uh, here we go. Yes, sir. Take it. Yes. That fulfilled the quest. Woo! Oh, oh lots of stuff. Dirt. That's some serious dirt. Oh, yeah, because I lifted it too. She's going to put it in for me. Mmm. Yeah, let her do the work. Yeah, get to work. Uh, got some dirt here. See? <laughs> Just a little bit. So you can have it. Oh, she went downstairs. Cool. There's a start. And some more. Saves me plonking around doing it. She got the skills now. I wonder if she'll need a shovel as well for them. No, probably not. Okay, about another eight odd stacks she's going to need. Mm, I'm going to have to go plunder my warehouse for that. But it's going to look good. Oh, yeah. And some other dark oak stuff. I can do that. All right. So, yes, here's hoping... Oh, I don't even know if level three would do the job, would it? Hmm... So we're going to get the barracks done over there, then we'll get guard. We might put Connor in temporarily, just so that we've got somebody. Duh, he'll trip over his own feet. One, 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 one. Oh dear. He's going to be Goma Pile. Ugh, I wonder how many of you actually get that reference. <laughs> it was old when I was a kid, Goma Pile. Anyway, um, who would be more modern equivalent? Um, incompetent soldier, um, I can't even think, oh uh, well, and by the way, this town is still named Xanadu, nobody's given me an, uh, any suggestions for, for, for a colony name, surely somebody's got some idea or something good, somebody, anybody, please, what are you doing Barbara, what are you doing standing around, get to work, what happened, no, Oh, she's gone loopy a few times. I've had to reset and restart her a few times. I don't know what she... Uh, she just sort of stands around after a while. It's not raining. I had a rainstorm and gee, it was frustrating just watching them all standing in the field doing nothing. Look, there's even stuff on the ground here. Pick it up. Uh, uh, yeah, like, so if this happens, this is where you go back in, you can manage your workers, you can pause them, restart them, and then unpause. Oh, it's night time anyway, go to bed, go to bed, you slacker. Give me more wood, you're level two now, oh, I want to see some return for my investment, please. Okay. Yeah. Is there anything else I wanted to show you? No, that might do for this one. Um, unless I change my mind. So just, uh, if you don't see the picture come up and the music play, then I've decided to add something. Uh, if not, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. You know what? I did want to add something. Two things, actually. Uh, I wanted to show you my fancy samurai chest plate. Ooh, look at this. Health boost, speed boost. Uh, it's got the lot. Uh, magic shielding, yeah, I, I can't even remember, I got that from a loot chest, a loot chest, I think, yes, nice, huh, and the other thing, I, f I discovered something by accident, so you've been playing Stoneblock 2, you may have watched some of those videos, and in there, you can turn your uh, rotten flesh into monster jerky, and I thought, oh, well, let's see if that works over here, so I put it in my furnace, and you will not believe what happened, I did not get monster jerky. In fact, I got, ready for it, leather. Ooh, bet you didn't know you could do that. Well, I certainly didn't. And nobody else, none of you people told me. So, uh, there you go. So, if you're running short on leather and you want some, especially early game, uh, they just cook up some rotten flesh and uh, it gets all nice and leathery. Don't chew on it. It's not jerky. It's, uh, it's leather, yeah. Okay, I'll catch you next time. Mm -hmm.